I've printed this uh, with 0.2mm tolerance, so that's the, the tightest we've tried, which usually works fine on this. As with any heated bed and PLA, you really need to let it cool down first. If you, It's very tempting to just lift it off as soon as it's printed and you end up warping the base. So this has cooled down fairly well, so it should... Oh, there you go, that's off. And I printed it with a brim, which comes off quite easily, so nice and simple. Now, it is a little bit jammed up, so you'll almost certainly have to do something, and the most obvious thing to start with is to separate the main side here. I'm trying to do this without chopping your fingers. Now, those two sides are easy. The middle gets a little bit jammed, so if I get in here, now, bear in mind, you don't want to go all the way down because there's actually a support at the bottom. But if I separate that, that's clicked nicely. You can see that's now moving fairly freely. Good. Uh, these two little supports here means you can't push down too far because you'll just shut those. Now, this then really leaves two more bits to separate. The top here, where the little nubs come in here to, to limit the, mo the movement, um, they tend to jam up. So, we need to get in here and just separate those like that. Okay, so they're now separate. And now they normally lock together like that when they're li lifted, but as you can see, they are separate. And then you've got the base. Now this is fairly easy. Make sure you go around. Now the actual tricky bit here is just and don't forget health and safety here. You don't really want to chop your fingers off. The tricky bit is just here, just to get around there. Now that should be enough. So let's close the lid and turn it clockwise. <coughs> I didn't cut myself on the knife, I bruised myself on the actual thing itself. Right, so we are now twisting. It's stiff at first. Now it should only go 180 degrees. Those little nubs in there going a track on the inside means it goes 180 degrees, and that's now that's nice, now nice and smooth. So knife away. So we now have the final heart. So here we have a lozenge. It's got initials both sides, and these these flaps here don't open, they're locked. You can't actually open them, which is part of the design. But if you twist the whole thing, as far as it will go, it turns into a heart with initials. And you can now open the lid and you can see what's inside, just in time for Valentine's Day. <laughs>